All right, just going to do a quick video here installing the new pistol grips that we just picked up for the uh, AR-15 and the AK-47. I'm going to inst I'll install the AR-15 one first because that's a simpler operation. Uh, then we'll do the AK-47 second. Um, these are both Hogue grips. Um, this is the AR-15 one I picked, kind of a grayish green color. And for my wife, for her AK, we have basic black. Um, the issues with the current hand grips on the Sentry Arms AK, it's really just kind of a blocky piece of plastic, not very comfortable at all. And on the um, Talon AR-15 that I got, I just didn't like the grip. It has one middle piece that kind of sticks out. And these are 15 bucks a piece, and Hogue is always good quality. So we're going to get this done, and I'll pause and I'll have the, AK, the AR on the table. Okay, so I have the AR-15. Uh, right now it's, it is upside down. I'm using the top rail with a bipod on it to hold it in place, just to kind of cheat a little bit. Uh, this requires a 3 16 Allen head on this particular model. I do not have a 3 16 Allen head T-bar, so I have a combination of a standard screwdriver, which wasn't quite long enough, with a socket adapter, and a 3 16 Allen head along with a magnet on another allen wrench to retrieve the allen head when it falls off inside of there because that's happened a few times. Uh, let's see if I can put this in without getting my head in the camera. Very basic. Take your one screw off. Now the one thing you need to watch out for is there is a spring on the AR-15 that you do not want to lose. And this is unscrewing. Okay, it is free. And you may have seen that spring almost roll off the table. Um, this is your spring. And it goes in this little detent on the side here. That's what keeps the tension on your safety. So you just want to make sure you do not lose that spring and you will recover the same screw that you took out um, from the old grip to use on your new grip. Just kind of drop that down the hole. That's good. And I don't know if you can see this, but that is through there. Put your Bring in the little hole in the pistol grip, line everything up, okay, that's back where it has to be. And then we're just going to tighten her down. The uh, AR grip is a whole lot simpler to install than the AK grip. Neither one is hard, but the AR one is much easier. And like I said I don't have a magnetic grip on this, so it's a bit of a pain. I'm going to get that started with just this. Okay, so there's a bit of fumbling around in there just because I don't have the right tool. But I now have it to where it's tightening down nicely. torque it. Let me cover my little end piece here. All right, let me pause. I'll widen this up and uh, we'll let you see what it looks like. Okay, so the AR install was very simple. Um, this is the new Hogue grip on here. 
Um, fits nicely underneath the trigger guard with that extra little flap of rubber there. Beaver tail grip. Significantly better than what came with this and 15 bucks. Nice easy upgrade. Uh, now we're going to do the AK which is slightly more complicated but still pretty simple. Alright, now we're over to the AK. <clears throat> uh, the hoe grip does come with its own uh, Phillips head screw and its own T-block in case for whatever reason you can't use yours. Um, the Century uh, C39 V2 also uses the same 3 8 Allen head as the, uh, the AR did so that's easy and it's easier to get to. So firstly we have to partially disassemble the AK. It's not simply taking a screw off the bottom. So I'm going to take off my scope mount first. This is the RS Regulate scope mount, which I installed in the last video here. Give you another look at that. And we'll put that aside. I need to pop the top. Remove our spring. Get that out of the way. And you should be able to see in here this T nut. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's basically what that long screw goes into. So we want to make sure we don't lose that. You have to retain that when you take it off. Um, that's why you have to take the assembly apart. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm just going to kind of put my hand on that, give or take, so I don't lose it. We'll break that free ah, there is our grip that comes by default with the unit. Still kind of holding that in place. Here is our new grip. No springs or anything you need to worry about, you just don't want to lose that T-bar. And need myself a Phillips head, which I probably don't have on the table. Alright, so I got myself a Phillips head screwdriver and Try and line up the hole here. I'm not sure how much of this is actually coming through in the video, but this is more just to show you that this is a very simple upgrade to do if it's something you want to. And it's only about 15 bucks for these grips um, from Hogue. If you buy from Hogue's website themselves, they are more expensive. I got these off of Primary Arms. Um, as well as some of my other accessories. And you don't want to over tighten it, but it's an AK. You're pretty safe. Alrighty, that is on. Stand her back up. Got our new grip on there. Um, didn't need to use the optional T-block accessory. Put our spring back in. Oops. Okay, we got the spring back in. We just have to pop the cover back on. Oops. 
that is the only way I've seen to get the Century uh, C39 V2 cover on. It's just kind of line it up about right and then whack it. Um, if you try and think about it, it doesn't go on. And now we'll just put our scope mount back on. And it is a rifle again. Alright, just getting a little image of what it looks like once this is all put back together uh, with a hoe grip and just give you a general idea of what this thing currently looks like. It's probably about as modified as this rifle is going to get because my wife wants to keep it fairly stock, but that grip was uncomfortable and she needed a scope, so that's what we currently have. Uh, I hope this video helps somebody, I kind of doubt it, but um, as usual, I'm filming stuff because I'm doing stuff. Have a great day.